You can have some pretty deep conversations with Baxter and you can actually make him cry. Let's try to make him cry, Alyssa, okay? No. Yes, yeah, just a little cry. It's good for you every now and then to cry. Baxter, do you love me? Do you care about me? Do you like to go outside, Baxter? Do you miss Uncle Tony? What about Auntie Lane? Do you miss Auntie Lane? Yeah, you do miss Auntie Lane! Before we jump into today's video, please be sure to watch till the end. At the end of every Homestead Howe video, we show some of our favorite photographs of the day. And in today's video, we'll also show you our dog kennel commercial we put together. Carrie here from Homestead Howe. Welcome to our homestead. I got my two dogs here. And we're in our homestead dog kennel. We wanted to show you a little closer look, a little tour of our dog kennel, how it works. Alyssa and I are going to walk there now. We're upgrading it. We just added a camera and some lights to it and it's a Wi-Fi camera, so we're hoping that it's gonna reach. So we're gonna go turn it on and test it out. And um, some behind the scenes, because we've talked about it and how it's one of the ways we support our homestead, but we've never really walked you guys around and shown you it. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We built this about a year and a half ago. Um, it kind of went hand in hand with our YouTube channel. We actually had a company sponsor us because our greenhouse video, how to build a greenhouse that Alyssa helped me with, uh, became really popular. The company saw us that makes the panels that go on the greenhouse and they said, hey, we make these special roofing panels. They're asphalt shingles and they provided those to us for free if we did a video and talked about it. We did that and it's a great roof. It's, it was really easy to install. So um, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to see that, but we did several videos building this whole dog kennel. It's a four stall dog kennel. As you can see, one, two, three, four. I don't have this gate on right now. I have it outside right now. We haven't had four dogs over here at one time yet. Uh, we've got a propane heater right here. Fire that up. Ray's so curious of what that is. A couple things that we did in here that are kind of cool. I gotta get more of these, but I've got this little pulley system so we can open the door. See that? So we got this pulley system so we can open the door and let the dogs out without having to go in there, which is really nice. And I'll take you guys outside and I'll show you around it as well. Um, so I got the heater going now. And th this heater warms this whole room up no problem. And we've used this in the coldest days of winter last year. Um, we've got a couple of lights here and here and here. And these are all running off of solar. So these are all LED. They use very little electricity, just a couple watts each. Real quick, I wanted to share some of the numbers and how much our dog kennel business makes our homestead. To share some numbers, we currently charge $35 per night per dog. And if the dog just stays for the day, we charge $25. We've typically had about two dogs in there, so we're making about $70 per night. If we fill the whole place up, we'll be making $140 per night. We're probably charging a little bit less than what we could. Our strategy was to start off low and get some good reviews and feedback since we are a newer business. And that's been working out well. And we always under promise and over deliver. We take these dogs for several walks throughout the day. Our whole family loves dogs. So we're taking them on hikes. We're sending the owners pictures and we're giving them all sorts of love and attention. And, um, that's been our strategy and that's how much money we're making. It's been getting a lot busier lately, so we're planning on bringing in around 140 per night if we fill the whole place up and we're hoping to do that soon. So that's some of the numbers and now back to the video. And I, I bought these from Menards and they were kind of expensive, but they're pretty nice little dog kennels. The cool thing was I didn't need to purchase four of them because if you kind of do the math, we didn't need this side wall or back wall for this one. So then we had an extra side wall and back wall over there. So that's just the two extra walls from this one. Um, and then this I have outside and we have to put it in here still. But, so this is a little tour of our dog kennel. It's kind of cool, the dogs can go in here. They've got their little doggy beds they can lay on. And then when they want to go outside, we just pull this up and they can go outside, and then there's more going through there, Ray. Go show them how it works, Ray. Good boy. Now you're gone, you're racing again. That's going be stuck right there. <laughs> we can pull this up here and tie this on to leave it open if we want. 
All right, a couple ways we saved money when building this was, one, the roof was sponsored, like I mentioned before, the company that built the panels for our greenhouse, loved our YouTube video, and they sponsored and paid for the roofing for this, so we saved a bunch of money that way. The other way that we saved a bunch of money was going to the Habitat Restore. All of these panels were flooring panels that we purchased on Habitat Restore. We actually just stapled them to the wall, so it's made kind of a nice looking half wall. This window, I may even still have the price tag on it. Oh, it is, it's on the other side, I gotta look. I think this window was like $7 at Habitat Restore. We love the Habitat Restore. If you guys have never checked it out, go check it out. The two windows were just inexpensive windows that I bought from Menards. We have a little dog sign in that one, and that window too. The floor was just a cement floor, and then it's got epoxy on it that we got from Menards. And um, the roofing is just pine that we got from Menards as well. This door we purchased from the Habitat Restore. I think it was like $30. This we bought on Amazon, and we added later. This is really nice, so we can put a code in. I don't want to show you guys our code. Then you hit unlock. Now it's unlocked, and you can come in and out, or you can manually lock it with that, and then you can unlock it, and you put the code in. The cool thing with this is, you shut the door, and you leave, and it'll automatically lock itself. I think it's like 20 seconds later. Oh, look, we have a, we have a visitor. Oh, hi, visitor, come on in. Where the heck were you? I called you 86 times, Baxter. This is why you can't have nice things. You want to go for walks all the time? You always run away, and then you go in the neighbor's yard and they get mad. Here, now you can get punishment. Go in your cage. Go in there, you bad boy. Go on, go in here. He Look. runs back. Go in there, you go right outside. Go on. Oh God, I hope that keeps going. Nope. <laughs> and he's back. And that's how that works. So we've got this, we have a website for our dog kennel, and my daughter Lily and Jen, my wife, run this thing. Uh, but we also have our Airbnb rental, and a lot of times we have guests who have dogs, and so they can bring their dogs and they can leave them here and, and rent this place up for that. I'm going to turn this heater off, and we'll show you around outside real quick. And here, actually, ready? go out this way. We're going to meet you out there. Come on. Good boy. We'll meet you out there, buddy. Good boy. Ray's like, seriously? Baxter, you come this way and run away again. Oh, I locked yourself in. Unlock it. This door here, this storm door, I also bought on Habitat Restore. Look, you can see here, it doesn't have the price number. It says the sticker from the measurement. I'm just taking that off. We'll give you guys a quick tour. Make sure you can see all this. Right here is just a sign that Jen made with her business, I Create Crafts. She made this on her Cricut machine. We have a whole bunch of signs like this around our homestead, but this is our kind of uh, evergreen homestead logo, homestead house. Take you around here, so we have all the electricity on. Baxter, come. This is the solar powered trailer, and Jen made the stickers for this. And there's batteries inside here. So there's 200 watt panels, and then there's three or four batteries in there, and these recharge the batteries throughout the day. And there's a power inverter, and then we just plug it in to the side of the house right here. There's just a power cord coming off of here, and I can either plug it into that trailer, or I can plug it into our generator if we want. Or the third option is we also have this orange uh, battery pack we could plug it into. Gotcha, come on. It's all fenced in. We gotta let Ray out. So this is all fenced in. We got one, two, three, four, just like inside. And the dogs can go in and out during the day, which is something um, a lot of our customers have liked. So we don't just have the dogs stuck in there until we come out. Like in the summertime, we could leave that center door open and then the dogs can come inside or outside. We'll always leave this gate closed though, unless we're out here just to be safe. We have this fencing all the way around, which is five feet high. So you can see here, over here, we have the teeter totter. Nobody ever plays on it though. And then this is the other um, this is the other bit of kennel that I mentioned was missing from in there. We have the three kennels. This is the fourth parts of it, so I should probably bring that back in there. But big, huge area for the dogs to run around. And you can't see now because it's dark out, but it's just beautiful woods all around this whole kennel. We have no neighbors. You go that way for miles, there's no houses. It's just hunting land that way. So if the dogs are out here and they're playing or barking, it's not gonna disturb anyone, which is really nice. And it's far enough away from our house, which is way over there that 
even if the dogs are barking, we can't really disturb us too much. But that was one of the reasons we've got that camera. Now let's take a look on the camera list and see if this thing's working. So before I turned the camera on, I was out here and I just screwed that in and I plugged it in and I had to reset the router. So let's see if this thing is working. Can you see my screen? Camera came with this app. It's called Amcrest. I bought it on Am. Oh, there it is right there. So apparently you're supposed to be able to move the camera too. Oh, that's cool. Except I moved it the wrong way. So if I want to go this way, I just swipe it like that. Boom. Now we can see there's dog kennel one, two, three, and four. If I want to go that way, I go like that. Three and four. And then the other cool thing is you can listen to it. We got to test this real quick. Here, can you hold that? Do you want to stay out here? Yeah. I'm going to run in there real quick. I'm going to bark and see if you can hear it. But get it on camera and I want to be able to hear it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So we just tested out the camera. I'll go over here so I have a little bit of light. It's cool because I didn't realize before I bought it, you could hear both ways. I just wanted to hear the dogs, which we can, but you could actually talk back. So if Janelle was in here cleaning or something, I could say, hey, I need you back at the house. And she could talk back and forth. So it's like an intercom system and a camera. So in conclusion, there's Baxter, there's Ray. This is our little dog kennel. It's a little side business we have on our homestead. We've talked about it in the past, but I don't think we've ever really showed it to you guys before. So, so this is our dog kennel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment down below if you enjoy these types of vi videos about how we make money on our homestead. Thanks a lot for watching. So as promised, here are a couple pictures from our homestead, and then I'll show you guys our dog kennel commercial after this. We had a fun week on the homestead. I actually went camping outside in the snow with no tent. And this was the stars above, and here's a picture of my setup. And we did a series of videos on this, and one of them is coming out Saturday. You guys aren't going to want to miss that one. And if you guys want to see it, here's a little commercial we put together for our dog kennel. And this was actually playing in our local movie theater before every movie, until sadly it was closed down due to COVID. I'm really hoping they can open up again soon. It's a great little small town business and an amazing little movie theater. So here's that commercial. Does your best friend need a vacation? Oh, I'm tired. Book a stay at Evergreen Dog Retreat located in Montella. Our cozy four kennel building offers each dog indoor and outdoor access. We also have a mini dog pool, a teeter-totter, and 20 acres of land. Great for dog walks. And best of all, we're a family-run business and we absolutely love dogs. Evergreen Dog Retreat, where we love dogs as much as you do.